going everybody? We're on our way to Harvey in the Ranger for its first run. Um, it's been a beautiful week, beautiful blue skies the whole week, no wind. Until today, until today we decided to go to Harvey. Now, there's clouds coming in over there, out there, and there's a 35 kilometer an hour wind blowing. Not ideal, but we're gonna send it anyway. So, see you down there. The clouds appear to be more up over the city region. Quick, mighty ranger, let's outrun the storm before it reaches us. Ha <laughs> ha that's, that's a great job you're doing there. Alright, so got firewood now, much firewood indeed. I'm following Luke in his busted ass Prado. He's gonna show me where to go to set up camp and find the bush rats because Luke is not camping with us tonight because he lives three minutes from the campsite. Uh, then he's gonna go into town and do a thing. And then he will return with the perch and vessel. Hopefully by then I'll have the camp all set up and uh, we can get into it. I think I'm going to get cold and wet tonight and I'm not sure how well the fishing's going to go but we're going to give it a shot anyway because it's what we do. Soon it'll be time for me to turn off this road and go onto a track there and... We just pulled off the main road here and I believe the Bush Rats boys are somewhere in there. However, I don't know where they are so... Let's go that way. I may have just found Lee and Tony. <laughs> I found some people! Yes! What's going on, mate? Hey, mate, how you going? Good, good. Have you got a squid jig on? No, that's that's Pretty not. Much, that's yeah. not. I've, I've bought a thing. Yeah, yeah. Two pirates just rocked up with their new ship, I guess. Ranger. Land ship. Land ship. Land, yeah. land ship. Done well. We've got plenty of wood. Plenty of woods. Yes, and I, I managed to get bogged in Luke's paddock. Oh, did you? Yes. Yeah. Well, I already used it. I right. Used it well, had to try it. Yes. Found their camp. Wee swag. Wee blue boat. Some rad stickers. Here they are. That's actually part of my tent, not a fishing rod, so we're, setting this up, getting this we're, up we're trying bit. to set it up, but we're just talking smack a lot. Tony's got his dome, setting up a bit of a dome shanty. Pirate village. Pirate village, pirate dome village. We just need to wait for Luke and whoever else decides to rock up. Yep, it's gonna be a time. I wonder if any of our fans are gonna rock up. What are we doing with that? I don't actually know. It's your tent, bro. Well, actually, that bit there goes into a bit that this bit here goes over that thing. Oh, you're in Cool. Here. Right, I figured it out. That bit's the front. Grab that side. Drag it over. Oh, yes. Where'd you pick this up, bro? Oh, I got this from Marketplace, I think. Marketplace. Yeah, Marketplace. Sounds like a bargain already. Yep, sure was. That's pretty much done, I reckon. What are we doing here, mate? I don't know. Where's this bit go? Hang on, maybe if we... I think this goes in this bathroom. Well, that's the main door there. Oh, it does. It goes inside. Have, I, have we put it on upside down? No, no, no way. 
It, it'll work anyway, we'll make it work, we'll make it work. Oh yeah, no, this goes on the... Here, take this end, take it your way. A couple of little clips you need to put them into there, mate. All right. No, nah, that's not... Nah, that's not gonna work. Here, stop for a sec. I've got a, an idea. Oh, yes, it's pulling my tent peg out of the ground. That's what's happened. That goes in there like that, and then oh, that's a rusty old bit. Yep. There we go. Right. So we've created a rather large sail. Oh yeah. Oh, that's that's alright. <laughs> Cute as veranda and stuff. Yeah. Think pegs done. yeah, a couple more pegs. I mean for for um, however much money it was that I paid for it, a yellow coloured note. Never having had seen it before in my life. It's definitely a green dome. I think it's alright. It's green dome? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, he's telling you gold and silver one, a little bit small. Well, I'm going in, I'm going to do a tour. Yeah, do a tour, mate. Check it out. Yeah. Show me where the kitchen is and stuff when you find it, eh? This is how the fire is live. Toilet, bathroom, kitchen en suite, wrap around veranda. It comes around out here. All the parking you need. Fucking living, mate. Ah, yes. That's not going well. I don't know what those little flappy bits are for, but that's all right. Good luck with living, bro. Well, it took me longer to set up than I kind of thought it was going to. Pretty much set up now. The green dome tent sort of doing its thing. Boys are over here. Tony's out there hiding. What are you up to, mate? Just rigging up, mate. Getting some worms on the float, I reckon. Tony's got his float out already, a couple of worms on the go. We've got, got to get mine out there while the weather's no good. It's no good for me yeah. just get something out there. Yeah. The we've got an issue. What's that? There's no fire. We can get it going. It's a bit windy for a while, I don't know, you should, should be right. We hate though. Let's get done. Let's do it, let's do it. It's already warm, it's doing its job. I mean, two layers of dinner. Yeah, well, we had a fire, now we've just got smoke. She's going, bro, she's still going in there. It'll go. Gotta get that coal base, you know? It gets more, it. It oh. more twigs. It's doing a thing. Because I'm gonna have to get more twigs. I'm gonna have to get more twigs. The storm that I tried to outrun in the mighty range is well followed. Pretty much here. Yeah, it's here. It's going to be a cold, windy night and... Solar panels are... Let's be positive. It's not looking that black. I don't think it's going to rain. No, it's probably not going to rain, but the wind's the annoying part. That's pissing off tomorrow about last time. <laughs> Luke's finally arrived. He was just there. He went down a little gully. Fire's not super cranking because Levi keeps throwing heaps of logs on it. No, no, it should be cranking. Just building up a nice coal bed. There he is. Oh, that's bright. It's not ideal weather. Every comp. Every comp. Every comp. Every comp. It just turns to shit. No one's mad. Yeah. He's filming, he's getting content, he's using our shit, <laughs> he's using our shit to get content, that's what he's doing. Here we go, mate. Hey, mate. Still a half or two pirates here, ready for a good fucking showdown, mate, Be reds. Oh, the half that actually does. Yeah, I'll just fix up. I think he's only called one ready all winter, right? <laughs> yes. I think we have a good chance of winning this time. One pirate missing. <laughs> <laughs> one and a half. Who's dead tomorrow, right though? Ah, uh, that's... Tony's and then that hideous green thing's mine. Yeah. Come on, I don't know. He's reckoned it's more stable than this fucking. We got that camera in. All right. Let's put him in. Let's get into it. Into the uh, winter fishing competition. It started. It starts right now. It's starting. It's starting. It's starting. 
We're back in Harvey for the redemption round fishing competition with the Bush Rats boys. As you can see, the weather is atrocious, like always when we plan these events. Although, this fishing event is going to be slightly different. It's going to be an Olympiad style event. Many different events across 10 days, mountainous terrain, and icy cold waters where we'll be doing different sorts of things and events and... Or, oh, we could um, just go and see if we can catch a couple of reds. Yeah, that sounds better, let's do that. Right, these guys are still doing their intro. Look, we've done ours. Let's get out of here, quick. Push. Ah, push. Take off. Oh, crashed into my own boat. That's not going well. I'm okay. <laughs> quick, sabotage their vessel. How many fish you caught this year? Me, personally? Not many. How many's Luke caught this year? Not many. A lot more than me. Get it on. No. Trying to sabotage his vessel. Quick. The tree. We're stuck. Oh, he's gonna crash. Let's, this is possibly the worst start and launch to a fit. <laughs> Give us a run through, Luke, of the uh, mighty, mighty perch and vessel there. What do we got, power-wise? Uh, we've only got a little motor today. It's a 30-pound 30, 30 thrust, but the big motor is good for going across the dam. This, it's no good for getting in amongst trees because its first gear is the same as this one's top gear. So we go from zero to five knots in you know, about half a minute, but still. This one is for this in here, as you can see. And as you can see, we're in amongst trees and, and trees. So Luke's just giving me some information about the spot we're going to. Luke, explain. Yeah, no, with this trees there. Um, the spot we're going to is the spot where this rod, I was, I'd lost it at some point, it got pulled over the side and retrieved it, which is uh, now back under, I'm guessing, about seven or eight metres of water, so. You guys would remember we'll that. See. You guys would yeah. remember the story that Luke told about this rod. It was on the Facebook page. If you haven't checked out our Facebook page, jump on there and check it out. But that is the rod that was lost over the side, like Luke just said, by the king of perch, I shoot. Well, yes. So now we're going to go get redemption. Considering it's redemption round fishing competition, we're going to get redemption for the rod and things okay. will happen. Yes, you also you make it hard to see where we're going. But I'm in high visibility. All right, guys. So for a while, you've been asking us what our bait is that we use. We've told you that we use blue sardines and white bait and stuff. But the secret that we haven't told you that we're going to let you in on because we love you all so much. You ready? You ready for this? It's in a cereal crisp. <laughs> it's, crispy. it's not hay. It's the worms that are living in the hay. See? Large earthworms. Biggest red ever. Come off a worm. There you go. Biggest red fin ever. The king red fin, in fact, of the dam. I don't want to pass that through. 5.1 meters. So it's currently 5.1 meters. How deep was it when you lost the rod? Nine. And then how far back was the water when you found it? Well, there was no water. No, no, no how far back from the rod was the water? Oh, the rod was still in the water. About half a foot deep. Half a foot. Mm. In. I walked here. I, I was walking under these trees. So there you go. In a few months, the dam is filled up by five meters. And generally when it's pretty close to full, it's another four meters deep than it is right now, which is it'd be more than that. up there. So when it's full full, it's probably up over those trees. So you can just see the amount of water that comes and goes out of Harvey Dam. And it is a majestic dam. Hallowed waters of excitement. Dude, I have not even actually been able to hook my rod up yet. And Luke is on with the fin, one point. Oh, it's not the boat yet. It's just, it's just, it's well, zero points. Is it good? Oh, it like I can't remember what their scoring system was. Oh, mate. That is a big perch. Where's the net? Don't lose him. Here. Here. Let's not give them any heads up. I was about to yell with massive excitement, but Luke's told me to shh. Look Ooh, at that beautiful creature. Right. For the look first at, perch of the day. Look at it. That's look at bad. it. Look at it. <laughs> Let's just measure it, because it could be over yes. magical 40 centimetres. Is that what they said? No, they said 30 centimetres was well, the three well points. Well, then we've got that's, more than one. That's that is. That's a 40. Oh, look at that. It's got a marin in it. A what? So the marin feelers. Oh, look at that, guys. The marin feelers down in its neck hole. That is dinner. Um, 
first fish today is. And well what over. was it on? The magic secret mother flipping worm. How big is it? Is. Dude. Ow. <laughs> it is. Oh, oh, it's not quite the magic. It's not quite 39. 38, the 39. Look at that, guys. Not quite the magical. Uh, Hold up, let's get some pictures. The Holy Grail. <laughs> Start. <laughs> right, so what I've done is I've taken Luke's rod because he tangled mine. So he's going to set his one up, have some worms. That was amazing. That worm was in the water for what? 12 seconds? Oh, I don't go to spots where there's no fish. <laughs> Listen to it. Ooh, here we go. Yep, I'm on, Luke. Grab that camera. It's not huge. No, it's too late. It's not huge. It's not huge. Look at that, guys. He counts. He counts. He counts. He counts. He counts. He counts. After an afternoon. After what? After a hot start, the fishing has died off. However, it's we've been here for eight minutes. There's nothing to pop about today at all. No, there's not anything about that today at all. At all. You didn't make any hoops. I don't do much. I don't. All I do is manage the accounts and do internet type stuff. And <laughs> this guy does all the other stuff. Yeah, this is my boat. Yeah, it's and Luke, my rod. It's Luke's boat, Luke's rods. Luke's rum. That's my Esky. Ah. Uh, oh, and I'm here. So. Mm, that's, that's Your camera. I'm the camera master. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the one that makes the videos. I'm the one that makes all you lovely people out there be able to see what we see. At the moment, it's trees and overcast sky. <laughs> oh, this feels a bit better than my last one. Is it a. Yes. yes. He swallowed my worm. It's a perch. He swallowed what my are worm. the chances? All right. What are you going to do here? Well, hang on. Are you on? I'm you're on. on. You're on. Yep. This is it. Ah. Keep filming. Oh, uh, no. Nah, he's gone. All right. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Wait. Maybe? He's, he's, um, he's dropped it. What's oh, that? What's maybe that, that was a tap. Give it a jig. Give it a jig. Give it a jig. Give it a jig. Jig. This is going to be hard because I'm left-handed and I'm holding the camera. That's right. It's my left hand, as you can see. See, what happened there is we were talking smack about Miller's driving abilities with the tinny and then fish. Oh. Oh, oh. Give me the camera. Yep. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, oh wow! Boys. Look, look at this. Bend in the rod. The bend in the rod. Bend in the, the, the rod indicates that the fish have significant weight. <laughs> <laughs> and it changes the physics. That's not that good. But it's nice, right? I'm just going to lift it like a fish crane. See that? Fish crane. That's better than your one. Actually, both of mine so far have been better. But look, I've I've outfished my whole winter fish catch by one. Because I've caught one for the year, and now I've caught three. What do you have to say for that, Mr. Perch? Um, right. I've got stripes. Yep. Roger. Yes. Fishing. Oh. You keep reaching forward. <laughs> oh, my rod's going off too. Right. I've got one. Luke's on. So we're going to switch camera handles here. Oh, I'm hand reeling him. I'm actually holding. <laughs> I've switched camera angles here. I'll show you my perch in a second here. Oh, no. The camera switched around angles. Oh. Here we go, Luke's just pulling it. Sorry about that, the camera cut out. Look at that, mate. Yes. Juicy worm straight in his neck hole. Oh, now the lens is all ruined. Right, so what happened there was the camera did a thing and we missed half of it, but that's the result. That was the one that I just caught then. <laughs> yes, I actually caught a red fin that wasn't tiny. So we're up to it. one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got a mega one here, which I think is a triple pointer according to Bushrat's score sheet. And then we've got five single pointers. So what's that? Five and three is eight. I believe, if my maths is correct. Is it? <laughs> is it though? Is, is it? it? <laughs> right, so what we're gonna do 
is we're going to lull the bush rats into a false sense of security here by telling them that the only fish we've caught is the wee one. That pretty much is the only fish you've caught. No, it's not. I've caught three. Right. Right. So it's just started raining, but I'm. <laughs> you just what? That was a good fish you just lost. I just lost. <laughs> I've just lost a large perch. Oh, that's funny, but also you're making us lose. I might. He's back. What? I've got him. Nah, that's not the same. It time. is. It is. I've got him. That is a good fish. Is it? Yeah, it is. Are you sure? It is. Boy, that's a good fish. That's a very good fish, actually. Oh, yeah. I caught him. <laughs> That is a good looking fish. That's a very good looking perch. Oh, look at him, look at him. Hang on, get him out. Get him out and have a Hang measure, on. right? Get him out. Get him out and have a measure. I'm just gonna keep Oh, I've hooked the net. What I've done is I've hooked the net through the fish. Hang on, guys. What are you doing? I'm trying to get the hook out. Oh, it's a good looking fish. He is a good looking fish, isn't he? Oh, it's turned there off. It turned off. Yeah, it's still filming. It's still filming. Is it just goes off? Yeah, it just turned right, off. So now you've got me going, it's turned oh, off, it's turned off. That's all right, I can edit that out. And we've got all of the smack talking as well. Hang on. Okay, good. I'm just trying to put my worm back down. Dude, that's gonna be pushing. Dude, I might be in the 40 30, club, yeah. 7, 38. Nah, it's not 40. No way. Right. 36. That, 37. I did that, guys. I I did it. Ads could do the thing. Right, put him on the 90 and count backwards. What? What a stupid way of measuring. He's not going to sit still. Okay, on the 100. Oh, sorry, 90. He's 34. There he goes, 34. Oh, is that all? He's a good fish. What are you talking about? Put your fin up. <laughs> he doesn't want to. She doesn't want to. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. What do you reckon? Right, so, sit wrap. We've done better than i thought to be honest i thought we we're going to have a one perch out like we did last time however we've done a lot better than that but what do you reckon yeah we've done better than that yes we i have. think we've got nine or ten no, i'm not sure but we've got a few large ones so if the bush yeah, rats have. they're pretty fat too I yeah full of rope but at least it's, it's look sun. right, sun's glaring through there we might try a new spot but i think we've got enough to be safe so we should try some new spots well you never know because the new spots that we try could be no, that was a fish, not my rod. Could be um, like extremely good, you know. Good. But also, we're catching fish here. No, although they've slowed down a lot, so we might have gotten through them, maybe. We might give it another couple of minutes because we've got a few 30 pluses here, and from memory, their scorecard is 30 pluses worth three. I can't see, that's why I'm squinting. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> Where's my rain? Uh, I want the rain back. Gosh. Right. Sun. Let's do it. So difficult. Luke's deciding that we're moving on. The sun's out, sun's out, guns out. Except it's too cold for the guns out, so sun's out, hoodies on. There's a bloke over there on the shore. Oh man, it's just gorgeous right now. It is fantastic. That's a good photo. I'm gonna stop this and take a photo. Oh mate, look at that. The sun's out, it's warming us up. Oh, it looks like there's another bit of a cloudy front behind it, but right now it is picturesque and we're moving spots, aren't we Luke? Yes. Yes, we I are. can't see. It's that bright. It is quite bright. I mean, I can see my reflection in the screen and it's not a pretty one. Hey? No, he's over 33 points. Right, so... <laughs> is that three points? <laughs> How many have you got? Oh, yeah, boy. competition didn't start to we got here, mate. No, seriously, how does the point system work? So that's a one. So what what warrants three points? 30 plus? Nah, that's just a winner. So a 30 plus red fin is three points. Yeah, righto. How many Murray Cods you got? How many Murray Cods you got, mate? It looks like it could be. Yes. Uh, Nah. No, it's got, got, see, got, see how it's got the action, right? But it doesn't have see, the weight yes. to it. So you see, there's a, there's a curvature of the rod, right? So the, it's trying. I reckon he's going to be a 29 centimetre. Nah, he's going to be 24. Or is it a trout? Is it a pathetic trout? No, it's a perch. It is a perch. It's Percherillo. Percherillo Rooney. It's, oh, he's all right. He's got nice colour, actually. Look at his 
You wouldn't complain about it. No, I mean, look at these nice, beautiful colours. Which should we show them? Well, I'm just sitting there for long enough that I can get a good um, screenshot out of it. Yeah, let's turn him. Yeah, that's He's nice. Not bad. That's, 20, nice. that's nice. That's nice. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So we don't actually believe the story. I reckon they've got one. You wouldn't come back wouldn't to another competition unprepared. Yeah, to a second round unprepared. So what we're planning on doing now is we feel that we've got nine or so fish that we have with a few three-pointers in there, enough to be free. We reckon Pro maybe probably, safe. Probably, probably safe. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and try and get some mega fins. We've got a spot. Well, I've got a spot because Adam does Adam does, Adam does not much. No way to these things. Um, up here that we've caught several 40 centimetre plus fish out of, but they're rare, but they are there. So we'll just sit there for the rest of the day and we might get nothing. So I caught this one on the drop, mate. New spot paid off. I caught that on the drop. Not big, but good, that's a good point. Start. It's a point. It's, I think it might be two. No, they they go to one to three. They're, they're scoring sheets ridiculous. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Go. Cool. Yep. Right. I'm getting smashed in the new spot. I just dropped him. He's taking me worm. Bugger. Rebate. Rebate. Oh, Luke's losing fish here. <laughs> He wants it, but he's not, he's not really... He's, he's, he's somewhat hungry, but... Yep, you got him. Yes, he's not yeah, big, he's a 24. Nice. He's very small. He's a 24 centimetre. Well, he's, I can't see, you're blocking. You, well, he's come up the back. Yeah, well, you, have you caught him around the... Oh, he's around the everything. Yeah. Hang on. Oh. What Luke's done is catch the own outboard. There, there it is! Wow. It's, hey, it's still a point. It's one point better than, oh my God. Look at <laughs> I've caught a fish. I've done it. Yep. Oh, yes. That's another three pointer. <laughs> New spot is paying off. Spin fish. Broadside to the camera. Look at Spin that. Spin fish. <laughs> Last drop. It's getting cold. <laughs> it Nine. is getting cold. It's starting to get dark. The sun is pretty much gone. Although that is a pretty bites. looking photo. Luke's getting bites. Are you seriously getting bites? Yeah. That was a good time to start the camera because Luke's caught a fish. It's not huge. It's going to be another 18 centimetre. Centimetre? 18 centimetre. 18. 18, maybe more. Luke's fallen over. Oh, you just missed it before. Luke crashed into the tree and I nearly fell out of the boat. I didn't crash into shit. You did. Have you got him? He's not huge. Oh, he's alright. He's probably 22. He goes in the bag. Yeah, he goes in the bag. Goes in the bush rats flogging bag. <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> I've just changed the battery. Just managed to get the GoPro to work again and Luke hooks another 21 centimetre red fin. Yeah, it's not big. It's not huge, but it's enough red fin for the day. He's alright, actually. Right, so what we're going to do now, well, Luke, you, you don't need to see Luke pull in another red fin, do you? Of 21 centimetre. Anyway. What we're going to do is say goodnight with that beautiful sunset. Go back and rub salt into the salty wounds of the rats. Um, well, yeah, unless they've somehow actually beat Light us. and lied to us. But, yeah, I'm not going to, yeah, I'm, I'm cautious. Very cautious. We'll find out very soon. I'm fairly certain we've smoked the bush rats today. Well, we'll find out very soon. I mean, oh, look at that. Look at the colours and that. And how many worms we got left? Uh, not many. Not many. But, I mean, the result is in the back of the boat there. We actually don't know how many we've caught today. But there's that one good one. There's the one good one, and I actually did a thing and caught a few over 30 centimetres. I know you guys are shocked to see <laughs> me catch a thing, but I've got a few. So when we get back up here, we're going, they're still out. They're still That's out. fine, we're gonna, we're, we're done. We're yeah, gonna go we're get done. a beer. We're done, we're gonna drink some more beers, more rums. It's gonna put the boat on the trailer and go stand by the fire, because it is very cold. Yeah, it's not warm at the minute. I mean, beautiful sunset. Back. So I just spoke to the bush rats boys then, and I said, how many have you got? And he goes, oh, you're just gonna have to wait and see. So this could be interesting here. Yeah, we're just gonna chuck our, our hours in a wee box here. Hang on, where are we gonna, we'll do it over by the fire. We'll meet you over at the fire. 
Oh. Holy, we'll we'll we the bag's full of shit. Oh. This is gonna be close. That this is going off yours last time. So red pin were worth one. Thirty centimeter plus red is worth three. Undersized trout were worth three, and a size trout was worth five. Okay, yeah, but you, couldn't have, you shouldn't have an undersized trout in there. No, no. Well, yeah, because you'd have to release that. Yeah. But does it still count? Oh, no. catch. No, all right, so. What about Murray Cod? So, that, well, hang on then. So, that would mean that legal trout would be only worth three? No, five. No. Three? No, three. three. No, three, three. yeah. yeah no. Same, same as a monster ready, a 30 yeah, plus yeah. ready. Trout, trout's worth a monster ready. Yeah. Okay, yeah, all right, so yeah. trout are three, 30 plus ready is a three. Murray Cod's five. Yeah. Why do you keep going about Murray Have you got a Murray Cod? Have you got a Murray Cod? All right, are you boys ready for this? Right, well Luke's struggling to carry the weight of ours. Yeah, no, nah, it's not that heavy. Yeah, we're right. here for the official weigh-in. Have you used cannon yours? No. Nah. No, nah, we're going to tip him. It's right oh. one. No, nah, go dump yours there. Uh, we don't have that many, I don't think. Don't oh, wow, yes. There's more. There's more. There's more. <laughs> They're hiding in the bag. Well, what have you got there? One, two, three, four, five, and a three-pointer. You guys are on eight points. We're on eight points. Eight points. One, two, three. That's a 40 till we measured him. Per. 40? No, no, wait a minute. Six, seven, eight. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. Right, so what do you got? Nine points. Nine points, right, eh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine points. Nine points, right. Tip ours out here. Nine points. Hang on. Big 40. Dude, that's a good size that's one. That's a good fish. Alright, go. Tip ours out. Oh. We've won! <laughs> Oh damn, you went alright. Yeah, no, you done well. We've gone alright. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. No, thirteen. No, well. Do you not count. Alright. Okay. <laughs> so. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. But three points. Three points. Three, three, three points. points. Three points. No, they're not three points. They are all thirties. They're all thirties. They're all thirties. You can measure them. We can measure them. Oh, is that why you wanted the rules? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you set the rules originally. I, I don't even remember. We've, we've been joined by Nathan. <laughs> well, here we go. So Mark, got, I don't it's know. On. Oh, they're no, pretty no, close. Oh, it's a 40. Yours is no, better. It's, not. it's just under. It is literally yeah, just, under. just under. Well. Oh, no, there's no. See, there. that's on. On the on a, hang on, where's zero? Yeah. Hang on. Thir ours zero. is just on 39, right? So there's zero. Oh, there's there's zero. zero there. 40. Oh, they are. Uh, if you if you squish the tail, yeah. No, no, I didn't squish the tail. <laughs> you, you gotta, it's got to be in like one big line. They're both oh, about the same size. Pretty 40. close. Yeah. Pretty close. I think we've done this. <laughs> yeah, no, I think you've done it. It's been a good day, Mark. There you go. Oh. Pirates for the win. That's some river fishing, though. That's good good day. Good day, Had. How do you feel about it? 40 bait? Well, that was the first fish, bro. I reckon it was, you know, setting the record. Not too bad. So that, that's alright, because our first fish was also a 40. Yeah, our first one yeah. was 40. Well, to be honest, guys, we're here for a few days. We're just happy that everyone's got a fucking feed of fish. Yeah, we were feeling good about ourselves, but now we're feeling good about everyone. Yeah, yeah it's a good day. Good day fishing, good fire, yeah, so good beers. That's how the start of the camp's going to go, mate. Well, day three, a couple of Murray Cods. Easily. Yeah, mate, you I'm might even catch the crocodile that lives in here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm putting on. No, it was good times. No, it was. Yeah, you have guys, two pirates got the uh, competition in the bag, day one. For sure. Like a pretty good fish in the wall around. A couple of 40s, a couple of yeah, 30s. There was no definite outright winner, really. So. No, I'm yeah. just stoked that everyone's got a fish or two. But it's, no, better than sure. a, uh, it's better than a one versus one fish like last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. We're going to have a couple of beers tonight, I can cook up a feed. Show up by the fire. Considering the weather, I think it'd be pretty well. Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, it's not ideal weather at all, is it? Man, Carson Lewis sucked at the start. Oh, mate. Oh, this is fucking horrible. We didn't have <laughs> So we, we just bailed we on Lewis straight up. Yeah. And then I'm like, what are you doing? And then there was a fish. Yeah, like, I literally, like, we're like, oh, we'll pretty much give up. Hey. If they've got no fish, we'll probably head back in soon. And Levi just went, do. And I've gone, like, turn around. He's just gone. Having claimed victory on what was a fantastic day's fishing for everybody involved, we decided it was time to put the cameras away, talk some shit by the fire and cook some dinner. However, shortly into this, Mother Nature decided to play a rather cruel trick on us. That's right. Uh, shit's gone bad. We've got a generator running and it's in the rain and it's pissing down now. Good thing we cooked when we did. We're getting wet. We're trying to eat dinner and we're getting wet. Pirates love Lower that Dodgy one. things. Oh, yeah, don't don't lower the one onto the electrical <laughs> cable. <laughs> It'll pass and we'll be good. It's a bit squally. This front has just come from nowhere oh, and is just trashing everything. 
No, it wasn't. <laughs> oh my god! integral part of the tent. This tent's gone. Oh! Nathan's tent is just blown away. I feel like we should help with the training. I'm holding the tent up. Oh my, it's not going well, is it? The fire's to go. Oh, my tent's been destroyed. It's gonna be wet on the end. Oh, I need to fix it. Shit's gone pear-shaped. Right, so so what what just happened is a large front blew through and everyone's tents blew away. Nathan's actually blew in the water, but mine got rather wet and it's not going well. So no, I flipped it over. Look at my mattress, man. Look how wet that shit. No, I flipped my mattress over because I got double mattresses in there. Oh, listen to him. Oh, my double mattress is the wet. My double mattress got wet. What happened? You should just like. No, the whole front, the top blew off, and while we were laughing at Nathan, <laughs> it filled up with water. <laughs> we just thank you for dead, sucker! Yeah, so. Right, so it's like. <sighs> about 7 o'clock in the morning. The storm didn't pass until about midnight last night. I had a great deal of sleep, but. I think, I think it's a bit of a better day out here today. Let's have a look. <sighs> It is um it is a much nicer day today. Nathan? Fire? The storm may have blown Nathan's chair yeah. into the fire last night. I was so happy to buy that yesterday. That is the end of the competition. I'm just heading out now, head back home. It's been a good one. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for us. It was, uh, it'll be sick. Check out our website for some merch and stuff. It's been a good weekend. Let's get into it.